everybody, welcome to day two of the rebuild of the Technic 24 Hours race car. The weather here today is absolutely shocking, soul crushing. I thought it was spring, it's still winter, it sucks. I'm popping straight in at step 50. So far, no pieces missing. Life is good. Got some Super GT videoed up. Go watch those or listen to them while I build along. So today our family popped over to Walmart and my lovely wife bought a couple Lego gifts. That was nice of her. Excited for both of these actually. Got the Hogwarts Room of Requirement. Looks really awesome. Let's check that out. It looks really good. I love, obviously, from the... Uh, Deathly Hallows, I think. I think that was when one of Blaze's spells goes wrong, I think. Can't remember. And then it's got like the fire snake ripping through and it's all going down. We got the Grey Lady, Hermione. And they're saving the, the Slytherins there. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that looks really good. And then the other Fast and Furious vehicle, the Charger. Which I have, don't have yet. Should be pretty good. Get Dominic Toretto going there. Yeah, that looks awesome. My wife actually bought one more set, 4 Plus, for our daughter. And she built it herself. My wife did, actually. <laughs> My wife did, that is. It's the first Lego set she's ever built. Show it off here. It's this, I'm told it's Rapunzel. Uh, kind of spins around with this key. Oh, that's kind of neat. We've gotten our daughter some of the four plus ones before, but I don't think any of them have had a function before this one. So that's kind of cool. Take the key out. All good. It's got this little, I think, I think it's a chameleon if I remember correctly. I asked her how she felt after she finished it and she said she felt accomplished, which I think is pretty good. It's a good feeling to get. I always like the calmness of it. Just being told the steps, do the steps, and you have something to feel good about after. And yet it, it does give you a sense of accomplishment, I find. Interesting, at Walmart they had a UCS gunship. Uh, looked like it was an online order that was returned, that they just never bothered sending back to the warehouse. This box was kind of banged up and it had stickers like their shipping labels right on the box. Hmm. Still listed at the at retail price. You always gotta wonder if you ask, say, like, hey, this is kinda dinged up. I noticed this and it was the only one there. Wonder if they'd like to clear up some space. Like go for a sweet deal. That would be cool. Anyway, enough rambling. I want to build this thing and see if I'm missing any pieces. So far, no missing pieces. It's been really smooth. Really good so far. I'm sure I will have to stop if I'm missing anything, but hopefully not. Also, I'm finding my sorting system is not ideal. <laughs> Sifting through that is a nightmare. Uh, anyway, we begin. Just got the front assembly done here. Got the steering, as you can see. The classic Lego terrible turn circle. And suspension. Quite soft compared to the 1.8 supercars. But problem. We've got this step where we connect this. Connect the frame to these little brackets, but, uh-oh, we got no brackets. Turns out, I'm on page 73, I missed a step. <laughs> oh my gosh. Almost halfway through where I currently am, and I missed this one little step put those in step number 34 and we're now on 56 so I'm lucky 
I see found one here. And there's the other one there. We're in luck. It continues. Let's pop this on. There. Beautiful. So these old sets are kind of interesting, I'm finding. I've got this little piece to link up the hand of God steering. And what I've noticed is one, as a lot of you probably know, there's no numbered bags, there's no building stages, which I kind of like. I don't mind that at all. It just makes the build a little longer, which I enjoy. But putting this on, and this is like the third time I've noticed it in the set alone. So far as I can tell, there is no way of doing this that doesn't stress parts. But they could have done it. Weirdly. Because I need to put these on the pin, according to the instructions, I'm doing this by the book. I need to put this pin on and simultaneously attach this axle. You just can't do her. Well, mostly done. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. There it is. I'd love to finish, but problems have arisen. So it looks, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Stickers unapplied as yet. Um, but it looks pretty neat. Problem chiefly is with the features. We can turn a knob, or can we? No, we cannot because there's no knob. There should be a small, small black gear here to turn. You can kind of turn it, but it's quite difficult. And... You can see in on this side there is a black beam here and I had a gray beam left over um, I think the gray beam goes somewhere else in here um, the black one I believe is just straight up missing uh, because they're different sizes which runs into another issue hence why this is still up you can see here this is what raises and lowers the engine cover, uh, but it bumps into the gray beam because the gray beam is longer. So if I try and close it, which way is that? Right here. Yeah, it gets stuck right there. You can see this will come up and it collides with that back there, which is a bit tragic, but ideally, the engine bay would close and life would be good. But this beam also holds all this other stuff on. So I'll need to sort that out. And the other feature is, so you can flip this little compartment up and you got this switch. This is sort of the neutral in the middle. And you flip it over and using the same knob on the side, you can open the doors. Which is kind of cool. And I think that's actually fairly accurate because in these 24 hour races, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, when they pit to change drivers because not one person just drives for the full 24 hours, of course, um, I think they might open both sides of the car and one person sort of climbs out while the other one's climbing in at the same time to save time. So the fact that both of them open at the same time is actually sort of how it would work in real life, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, I mean, the car itself looks pretty awesome. I think it will, probably would look better with the stickers, and I think I will apply them once I get the two missing parts sorted out. I see a rogue pin here with nothing attached to it, which is sort of Odd. I'm not sure if that's meant to be off double check as well. But yeah, I mean, it's a really cool car overall if it's working, which it currently isn't. I think it will look pretty awesome. I actually don't even mind the sort of the exploded view for now. It's kind of cool. Don't mind that. Not too shabby.
Yeah, the build ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I don't, I, I don't know how many pieces there. I think around like 1,200. I, I think it'd be awesome if they would redo something like this because you can tell compared to the Technic sets now, this is pretty, um, they're a lot more dense. And this is, this is pretty sparse once you get into it. There's lots of like gaps right down to the floor and stuff. It's quite light. So if they redid this as an 18 plus, I think that would be really cool. Um, I think they should. I mean, they do them. Like they have like the 963 here. So I don't see why they couldn't. Um, I think it would be really good. And my camera's not doing the color justice. It looks really cool with this green color, which is... I think a more rare color for Technic, but it looks really nice with the white. I should get the stickers on though. Some of them are really nice. I really like these Technic ones. They go on the on the engine cover here. I think that'll look really good. So I'll probably pop those on. But uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this one. It was a lot of fun to put this back together, even though it's kind of broken up which is a little too bad. It was a little disappointing because it was right at the end. It's in like the last five or 10 pages and I realized I had two parts miss missing, which is pretty unfortunate, but life goes on. Yeah, thanks for coming along on this quick little journey of a old Technic set that I'm quite fond of. Hope you enjoyed my ramblings. If you did, if you're interested in this sort of thing, um, please feel free to give us a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.